Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I will be teaching you how you can create a nail polish bottle. So for this video, I have already opened this A4 size document and given a name to my document as well called the nail polish bottle. So before I begin, I would like to make sure that I am in the essentials classics options right here from this drop down box below. Then only I will be able to see all these tools right here on my screen. Okay, so the first things we have to do is to make the body of the nail polish. Right. To do that, we'll go over here to this shape tool, go to the rectangle tool and I'll delete the fill as I do not require it as of now. I'll click and drag to make a really nice a rectangle like that and probably I'll just choose this anchor point and this anchor point I will give it a nice rounded edge like that and probably let's just manipulate this a little bit more make it a little, too, little bit more curvy probably or nope okay so what we're going to do is, we'll select this and go to this reshape tool right here and I'll just add some more anchor points over here and here for now. Okay, click on this anchor point and use this handle to twist this a little to give it a certain shape. Nope. Yeah, this handle and okay, so I just want to make sure that this is chosen and like that. Like that. Probably if I can yeah, just around the edge like that from this edge and like that cool I quite like the shape of this bottle let me just round off the edges of this anchor point and this anchor point as well just a little bit like that okay and now the next thing we have to do is create the handle or create the cap, right? To do that, we'll go back to this rectangle tool again and just create this type of rectangle. I'll zoom in. I want this to be essentially aligned, so I'll just select these two. Come to this align panel and click on horizontal align. Better. So I'll select, I'll zoom in a little bit more like that and just select this anchor point and bring it downwards. Similarly with this anchor point like that. Just round the edges of this, of this anchor point and this anchor point like that okay so I'll just bring this down a little bit more and just probably create another rectangle like that okay so now we, I'll just, one last thing I need to centrally align this again, like that, just make sure it's all centrally aligned, yep. Now what we're gonna do is just fill it in with colors. So I'll choose this first and fill it in with a nice grey color. I'll zoom in on this 
and I just want to reduce the size of this like that I want to round off the edges so that it looks a lot better nope not that much yep I like this anchor point and that anchor point and probably just like that I'll select this handle now and I'll add a gradient so by default the gradient there is white to black so let's change that I'll click double click on this white you choose this light gray and double click on the black to a darker shade of gray or probably even more dark like that and I want the dark shade to be down and the lighter shape on the upward side right so I'll change the angle from this angle I angle drop down menu and click on minus 90 just adjust this like that so once that's done there you go and I'll just bring this down a little bit more that's an eight that let's add another gradient to this and let's change the color and I'll choose this nice magenta this dark this purple color and in this dark gray I'll choose this nice purple color like that and probably change it, change it like that bring it that and done so this is a really simple and simple nail polish bottle we just created and let's also just delete the stroke like that so now to save this we'll go to file and click on save as so by default our save as type would be adobe illustrator and our file name will be the same nail polish bottle ai and we'll just click on save and i highly recommend that we save our files in this AI format so that in case if I want to make any changes I can easily access the AI files and then make whatever changes I want to like this so now that we have come to the end of our video I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and with practice you can create different shapes shapes and sizes of your nail paint bottle and give it an, an any color you want to so thank you for watching and keep practicing.